Sometimes, however, the bonds of love for a partner are so immensely powerful that this doesn't happen, and young wives or husbands continue to mourn their departed loved ones long after all hope is lost. Some may never recover. For others, it may take years. Here, at Cresty Prison in St. Petersburg in Russia, a poignant illustration of this type of human tragedy is being played out. Inside these ugly walls are men, many of whom have been condemned to die for the crimes they've committed. They're penned in 16 to a cell, a cell with only four beds, so they must take it in turn to sleep. In these inhuman conditions, they have only one thought, to see their loved ones for just one last time. To do this, they laboriously make small holes in their heavily shuttered windows and then somehow manage to peep down at the road outside, signalling frantically with their hands, hoping to get even the briefest of glimpses of their wives below. Their faithful wives come here day after day and stand by the side of the road, sending back visual signals of love to their condemned partners. Occasionally, a makeshift blowpipe is pushed through a window and a small paper message in the form of a rolled up dart is blown down onto the street. The ingenuity of the human brain survives even in these appalling conditions. The dart is difficult to see. It appears as a small white speck. There. Dashing out into the busy traffic, the prisoner's wife manages to pick it up before it's damaged. What's happening here is ample proof of the intensity of the emotional attachments that exist between individual males and females. Here, there's no possibility of further family life, no possible future for husband and wife as a couple. The situation for these men and women is completely without hope. They'll never be together again, and yet the passion they feel for one another refuses to die. After the men have been executed and the years have passed, perhaps then, their wives may find new partners, but in the meantime, the power of human love continues to express itself in this moving way. The human pairing system does have its weaknesses, but it also has its amazing strengths. Regardless of the obstacles that modern urban life throws at it, and until our species has either exterminated itself or has evolved onto a completely new plane, I suspect that this will always be so.